Notebook LM just dropped five brand new features that allow you to do things like create slides, create infographics, and so much more. And by the end of this video, you're going to know about all these different changes and everything you could do with them. Notebook LM update number one is you can now build out slideshows and infographics inside of Notebook LM. So if we come over here and we see slide right here, you're going to see that you can now click on this and you can create one of two things. Either one, you could create a detailed slide presentation, which is going to be a comprehensive deck with full text and details, and this is going to be perfect for emailing or reading on its own. Or you can create presenter slides. These are going to be clean visual slides with key talking points to support you while you speak. So basically, if you're doing something that's a presentation, you're going to be up in front of class, you're going to be up in front of a group of people at a meeting, you want to do presenter. If you want it to be something super detailed, like you're going to be giving it out to a classroom, or you're going to be giving it to colleagues, you're going to want to do detailed. And from here, you could see that you have two choices. You could do short in length, or you could do default, and you can also come over here in order to describe the slide deck that you want to create. For example, you could tell it to add in a high-level outline. You could guide it on what the style or the focus should be, or you could tell it what kind of format you actually want. Now, if we click on presenter right here, this all stays the same. So basically, no matter whether you're doing detailed or presenter, you just have these options in order to fill out, and then you click on generate here. Now, one other pro tip that I did want to show you with this before I show you what these slides actually look like is when you come over here and add on select sources, if you have select all, it is going to create a slide from those 33 sources. But let's say that you only come through and you choose three of them right here, and then you come over here to slide deck, this will actually only make them based on those three sources. So you could build different slides for the same topic by just choosing different sources. Now, I've already gone through and created a slide here, so I to show you exactly what this looked like. This right here is going to be a detailed slide and I had it be short, but essentially what we could do from here is we could download this, we could start this, or we could expand the view right here. So I'm going to expand the view and we could go through and see just how cool this actually is. Now, what this is combining is this is combining basically Gemini 3 and Nano Banana Pro in order to actually create this. So we could see that this went through and this created a bunch of different things. And by the way, I gave this no instructions here. So in the future, what I would probably do is tell it what format I want this to be this in and what colors I want to use. The only mistake that I saw in here was this right here, but we could actually just come through and get it to regenerate it if we wanted to change something. Or if you only wanted to use some of these slides, you could come over here and you could download this. And then you could put this into PowerPoint or you could put it into Google Slides and you will be able to export it from there. In addition to that, if you wanted other people to work on this with you, you could come over here and just click on share over here and you could send it to people so that they could work on this with you. Now, the next update is that we now have infographics right here too. And this is absolutely insane. I do not think that LinkedIn's ready for this. I don't think that X is ready for this. This makes great posts for Instagram and TikTok also. And it's just really great to have. So if we come over here with this infographic, the same exact thing. We could choose how many different sources are going to actually be used here. You could choose what the orientation is going to be, landscape, portrait, or square. And then from here, you could choose the level of detail, concise, standard, detailed. By the way, if you do standard or detailed, it's going to take a much longer time in order to actually create that infographic compared to if you choose concise. So if you just want this to be done quickly, choose concise. Then in addition to that, you could describe what the infographic that you want to create will actually look like. You could guide the style, the color, the focus, all of those different things right here. Click on generate and it goes off and creates it. And again, I went through and I already actually had this made and I thought that this was pretty awesome. The coloring is great. One through four is great. The sizing of this is great. I did landscape and I did concise. And basically what this did was went through and created something for the anatomy of an AI agent because that's what all the sources that I have in here actually have. So you have the perception, which is the trigger. You have the planning, which is the brain. You have the action, which is the hands. And then you have the memory. And that is where the output is going to come from. And this right here is pretty cool that it actually breaks all of this down. It looks great. There's no spelling mistakes. There's no grammatical mistakes. And this is all actually actually set up really, really well, which I was insanely surprised by. And again, we could share this with people. We could download this. We could collapse the viewer. We could close the viewer. Or if we wanted to, we could change this because as we could see, these took 
all 33 sources. Now before we get into the three other Notebook LM changes that are only going to keep getting more and more mind-blowing, I wanted to remind you to hit that subscribe button below so that you stay up to date on the latest and greatest changes in AI. I upload videos like this every single day and you're not going to want to miss them. Now update number three is you can now come over here and you can customize video overview. So if we come into video overview, you're going to be able to see that we could choose whether we want an explainer or if we want this to be brief, for the sake of this, I'm going to click on brief right here just so that this generates this quicker than not. We could choose the language right here. And by the way, obviously brief is going to generate way quicker than if you do explainer because this is going to be a lot more structured. This is going to be a lot more comprehensive or this is just going to be bite-sized. Then we could come down here and we can have this auto select what our visual is going to be. We could actually choose what the visual is going to be or we could actually create a custom visual. For example, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do retro 90s and then what I want this to focus on is I want this to focus on how to actually create an AI agent and all of the things that go into it. We're going to come over here. We're going to fix this spelling right here. We're going to click on generate. Now what this is going to do is this is going to go through. This is going to make us a video overview with that custom style. And you can pretty much do any custom style that you want, which is pretty cool. And this is going to go through and this is actually going to create this. Now, in the meantime, while that goes off and creates this, before I show it to you, I wanted to also show you how you could come over here and you could choose new sources. So let's say that we come over here and we are going to start up a brand new notebook. We're going to click on this right here. I want this notebook to be about how the TikTok algorithm works. So I could click on discover sources up here if I don't already have sources and we could see that there are two different ways that this can actually get done. We could do fast research. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna type in how the TikTok algorithm works and we could see that this is going to go through this is going to research websites when you do it like this it typically brings you back 10 different sources right here which really isn't that much especially if we're talking about something super in depth so here it actually brought in seven sources not 10 so i'm going to import all of these different sources in addition to that though we could have also had this go through our google drive if we had a bunch of information on this this is incredibly helpful if you have a bunch of meeting summaries if you have a bunch of class notes if you have a bunch of presentations notes, something like that. Now, the new thing here is that we can come under deep research, do the same exact thing. So how the TikTok algorithm works, we have deep research turned on, where I'm going to click on this. Now, this is going to go through. This does take a few minutes, but what this is going to do is get us way more sources than the seven that fast research got us. Now we can see that this went through and this got us 34 sources instead of the seven. And if we wanted to, we could click on view right here and we could go through. So this went through and cited 34 different sources in the report. And basically this created a massive research report or a deep research report that we can now import in here and we can see that this just added in 35 different sources. Okay, so now that this video overview is done, let's actually come over here and check out what this looks like. So if we click on this right here and we pause this quick, we could see that this made this in a retro 90s theme, which is pretty awesome. It's two minutes and 26 seconds, which is perfect because I wanted it to be concise, but this is going to walk us through how to build your first AI agent Let's check it out. All right, let's talk AI agents. We're gonna break down exactly how you can build your first one today. So what if AI could actually do things? Not just answer questions, but really complete tasks for you. See, unlike a chatbot, these agents can act, reason, and interact with the world to get stuff done. This is the big leap, right? We're going from a... Now this is amazing. This is two minutes and 26 seconds. The only thing that I would potentially change about this is I would just like cut out the spaces in between it's switching scenes so that the pacing was a little bit better on this. But this would be perfect to upload as a podcast. This would be perfect to upload as a video. In fact, there are entire YouTube channels that I've seen that are just Notebook LM video references like this with an AI avatar and it's actually pretty awesome content. Now, this also got the retro 90s theme perfect and it mixed it with like the robotic theme of AI agents, which I am incredibly impressed by. Now, that last and final update that I wanna show you is actually gonna be two updates and these might seem small, but these are huge changes to Notebook OM. So first and foremost, you could see, you can now refresh the chat over here. This is gonna go through and this is gonna clear your chat history if you want to do that. 
In addition to that, if we click over here, you can now customize what the goal of your conversation is. For example, we could come over here. Let's say that you're trying to learn something for school. You could tell it that. You're trying to prepare for a meeting. You could tell it that. You're trying to make whatever. You just tell it what the goal of you conversing with Notebook OM is, and then it is going to change how it actually responds. In addition to that, you could change the length of the responses that it gives you. So let's say that we come over here and we say something like whatever we said right here. Guess what this is now going to do? This is now going to save this. So in the past, in order to actually save a conversation, you would have to click on save to note right here, and then this would generate a note over here. But now we're actually able to go back and then we could come back into something and that chat is still going to be there. I know this seems like a small update, but this is huge because there are so many times that I've accidentally backspaced while I'm using Notebook LM, and then I tried to get back to what I was doing Doing, and I couldn't get back there anymore and I forgot to save it and that thing was just absolutely gone but it doesn't work like that anymore and remember you can also come up here and you could see the analytics inside of your notebook if you're sharing it with your colleagues or if you're sharing it with somebody else and they happen to be using it also and you could come over here into share and you could share this with anybody that you want and you could share the chat only or the full notebook but again what you could also do is come over here and refresh it before you share it with somebody if you were asking this questions that you don't want that person to have access to. Not sure if you've seen the reports yet, but Goldman Sachs just came out and said that they think in the next 12 months, AI is gonna replace over 300 million jobs. So my question for you is, are you going to be one of those people that's replacing those jobs, or are you going to be one of the people that gets replaced because you didn't embrace AI? And that's exactly why I created AI Automation School that you could check out at the pinned comment below. In fact, I have a special launch pricing right now, so if you wanna stay ahead of what's happening in AI, and you wanna learn how to automate your work with AI, how to make more money with AI, how to build AI agents without knowing having to code, or you just want me to audit your personal AI workflow so we could speed things up for you, I strongly suggest that you check it out. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I would strongly suggest you check out this video right here that shows you a brand new AI tool that allows you to build SEO optimized websites in minutes. That sounds interesting. I'll see you over there.